Ever since the pandemic forced many people to pivot to telehealth, research has found more people are using mental health apps. Here to talk a little bit more about this with us this morning is our wellness expert, Heather Hans. Heather, good morning. Good morning, Jordan. Before we dive too much into this, can you just give a quick description of what mental health apps even are? Sure, so they're a way to access tools that can help you with your mental health because we know that when it comes to physical health, we need to do things to maintain it, diet, exercise, sleep, but with mental health, we also need to do things. It doesn't just come naturally. So these apps are things you could download on your phone. Some are free, some cost money, but they all help you maintain your mental health. That is wonderful to hear. As you're talking about helping us maintain our mental health, what are the benefits to using something like this? Sure, so they, they have their drawbacks, but the biggest benefits are that they're affordable, they're accessible, and they can give you anonymity for people who want that. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And they're at your fingertips. You know, exactly. you don't have to go searching for them yes, too hard. Yes, they're so convenient. And I think that's why we've been seeing a rise in mental health app use because you could do it from anywhere. And there are a lot of them out there. Can you name a few different types of the apps that people might find? Sure. So there's a few different groups. One are self-help apps. These are apps you do on your own and they have everything from memory boosting for dementia or ones that help you monitor your mood if you're if you have anxiety and depression um, eating disorder apps there's ones that um, can help you with your sleep mindfulness all different kinds of apps and these are considered really great for um, complementing psychotherapy and then the second type of app are therapy apps and this is where you're matched with an actual therapist and you exchange either text or voice messages back and forth. Some of them, actually most of them now allow you to pay extra to actually have live video calls and okay. that's really recommended because uh, research has found that the um, success of your treatment really stems from the relationship that you build with your therapist and that's hard to do with that asynchronistic right. messaging right. but that's still better than nothing <laughs> and um, just one other type that's actually not an app but it can function like one is regular therapy sessions done remotely so this is where you go out you find your own therapist almost all of them do remote sessions now you have your 50 minute session um, and you can do it from your phone since it's through a video so um, the one thing I would recommend for people to do there is make sure that the therapist specializes in what you need help with. Yes. Because, yeah, just like we don't go to a foot doctor for a heart problem, we right. also need to make sure that we have a mental health expert who is trained and experienced in whatever problem people are dealing with. It's so true, and that's such a good point. I'm glad you're making that. Um, you know, on that front, there are a lot for people to pick from. How do you go about finding out which one is the right for you? Yes, there are so many, and what I would recommend is picking whatever motivates or inspires you to make mental health a priority. Actually, one research study found that the ones that work best are the ones we believe in. Oh, I love so, that. Yeah, so, but they've all been shown to help people at least True. get through a hard time and become more self-aware, which yes. is half the battle with mental health issues. Well, and I'm, and I'm a proven subject right here. I use the Headspace app, which is guided meditation, and I can't tell you how much that has helped me. It's, it's 10 minutes a day I sit down, and it walks me through my breathing steps, and it has helped with my anxiety in so many different ways. Um, how might people go about getting started? You know, that, that's the hard part, too, is you find it, now what? Yeah, so I, I'm so glad you used that because that just shows, too, that 10 minutes can make such a difference, just yeah. 10 minutes. And um, people can look in the app stores and, of course, their ratings and different ones, but um, there's also plenty of websites people can look at and see how they've been rated. Um, but again, I would just test some out and see which ones resonate for people, and that's the one to use. I love that. All right. Well, Heather Hans, thank you so much for being with us. I know this can help so many people out there. So if anybody has questions, reach out to us. We're happy to help. Thank Heather, you thank so much you. for having me. Thank you.